Okay, you've purchased your reseller account with Mixcat Interactive and you're wondering how to get into your control panel for your reseller account. So it's very basic. What you're going to want to do is you received a URL or an IP address. Generally it's going to be a URL such as www.ghosted.com and what I tend to do is I put a WHM after the forward slash and the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to ask you for your username and password. Again, these videos are going to be basic. We have a username and password set up here for the videos. Okay, this is your WHM. This is going to control all your accounts from your reseller hosting. Notice here you have cluster remote access, server status, account information, account functions, multi-account functions, front page, themes, packages, DNS functions, email, control panel, web SSL TLS, and also add-ons. And then there's quick links for all this right here on your main screen. But the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is create an account. So what we're going to do is create a new account from within our WHM you're going to want your domain name and we put videotest2.com our password and our username you're limited within your package that you purchased from Mixcat for how what your quota on these accounts are going to be. So if you have 30 gigabytes in your reseller account and you want to set up a domain for yourself, you can decide how much the quota is going to be FTP, email accounts, email list, SQL databases, subdomain, max park domains. Now we do have packages listed that you can choose from and a basic one is a good one to go with for as it is a basic account 800 megs 400 email accounts so this is a good account here you're going to want to put in a contact email address we're going to put in a bogus one of course very basic so if you go with the the accounts we went with the basic account we have all our information correct double check everything everything looks good and we're going to hit create and see what happens. Okay. Everything worked good. Notice here you have the IP address to access this account. It would be http colon forward slash forward slash IP address and then colon 2082 or forward slash cpanel to get into the control panel of this individual account that you created here. Of course, the person that you create the account for, they're going to want to change their name servers to point to ghosted.com and they do that with the people that they register their URL with. So we've created our first account in our WHM.